Border officers will be shifted to other areas to assist with migrants coming into the country. KTSM 9 News reporter Stephanie Shields was all over town checking out how that went. She joins us now to explain. Truckers delivering goods from Mexico have already faced up to 12 hours of gridlock at the international crossings this week. So I went to three ports of entry to see how today went. In the cargo lanes, I've seen miles of a line on the Zaragoza Bridge. I've seen drivers who stay there to sleep for the night to see if maybe they can try and get across in the morning. And so we caught up with one of those drivers after a long shift hearing his experience firsthand. All week we're camping out on the bridge. It's very inhumane. Jose Gardea says the situation has shifted from gridlock to a deadlock. There's times where we wait all night, 10 hours, 8 hours to cross. It depends. Sometimes we wait there to the entire day until the next day. Long wait times means delays in schedule, which come with consequences. We don't get any earnings. We don't get any earnings because we're stuck waiting. We lose and lose daily. The effects leading to long-term problems. It's the hardest thing is that we get on bad terms with the client. That's what affects us the most. It puts us in a bad place with the client and it's not our fault, but they need their merchandise. Driving truckers into a panic as this is just the first Saturday of more scheduled cargo lane closures. Hopefully they fix something, make a schedule or something because we are waiting all night on the bridge sometimes. Maybe if they open the lanes at night or something like that, it would be beneficial. The Bridge of the Americas will close every Saturday until further notice. For cargo drivers, but the Isleta Port of Entry cargo facility is open from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Saturdays. Reporting live, Stephanie Shields, KTSM 9 News.